Hello, everyone, and welcome back to The Sims Medieval. And we are here with Queen Briar Rose, who has just run into this forest bandit in the woods while out to collect some wood to hopefully build up some new buildings in town. And we've actually gotten to know the forest bandit a little bit. I feel a bit weird about that. We like we had a bit of a chat with her about the fact that we are the monarch and we are the long lost daughter, the long lost princess who survived the carnivorous whale attack that Briar Rose's family, the former queen and king and her older brother all vanished in so we've had a bit of a chat with her we told her a dramatic story i think we'll chat for just a second and then we will resume doing what we need to do and change our outfit back into our queen outfit and then we will well i guess actually we could leave on our dueling outfit while we collect up some wood so that we can complete our first quest so i don't know about the fact that we have and she's puny <laughs> katrin is friendly and puny i really I feel like Katrin is only a forest bandit out of desperation so it'll be interesting to see if we can improve their relationship as time goes on but we're gonna go ahead and continue collecting these herbs that we found Katrin has to drag herself off because she's wounded from our battle and then let's learn a little bit more about gathering just because I'm curious oh look at her beautiful queen oh she's so lovely this is so much fun can I zoom in from here darn it I really want to get some good pictures of our queen, but you just do not have the camera range in The Sims Medieval that you get in uh, Sims 3. So, phooey. Uh, I really hope somebody has converted that because that's beautiful. All right, so let's learn about gathering just really quickly. Your kingdom is full of resources. Sage Wart, Nightshade, Belladonia, Azurite, Electrum, Mithril, and Leeches, to name a few. You'll need these resources to craft potions and medicines and to forge an epic sword. The only certain profession only certain professions can harvest resources. A blacksmith can mine, the physician, spy, and wizard can harvest from bushes. Any sim can harvest wildflowers. Locate a harvestable node in the world, a sparkle in a bush or mind will help you find them. And click on them. You need to discover them first, and this will tell you what you can harvest from them. Once discovered, they are you are free to harvest from them whenever they are available in the world. Wonderful, alright. Well, we're going to move on. I am just curious about those tutorials because sometimes they can tell you a really cool little fact. So it's worth it to like spend a moment or two learning a bit more. All right. Yeah. Wildflowers. Sweet. What did what, she just get? Like, did she just have like a negative thought? She does not have the ability to gather from that object. What about this one? How come I could gather from the other two, but not that one, huh? Interesting. All right. Do I have... What? Is, okay. Okay attract <laughs> we're still feeling attractive whale rage satisfied wow if we talk about the whales and how the whales stole our parents to other sims it actually gives us uh, a little bit of a moodlet that's hilarious so we can get really focused by raging about the whales the carnivorous whale since we have the whales ate my parents uh a little trait that we've given her oh we can harvest from this one because it's glowing i get it now all right, so now we're headed into the woods to collect some wood. I don't know where my queen will be going. Oh, she's just going to vanish for a little bit. Okay, goodbye. Goodbye, my queen. And she's going to be gathering up some wood. So we'll just kind of... Whoops. There's always adventure waiting to be found in the forest. The wood was collected and the kingdom will soon prosper from it. Woo! We did it! Oh, there's our queen again. Yay, she's back. All right, we're going to get some experience. We can collect some more flowers. She is a sim. She's fatigued from combat. This wood will be perfect for the kingdom's next building project. The builder will also need some stone. I can find some at the cave by the g graveyard. Okay, I guess we're going to a graveyard. As you wish, your majesty. Let's go ahead and collect up these wildflowers. I have a feeling she's been a very scholarly young woman, growing up kind of morose, not really, not really into many things about life, not really overjoyed by much in life because of the loss, being orphaned and losing her older brother, who was going to be the, the crown prince. So I think she's a little bit, a little bit of a, a more serious, yeah, she is morose actually, that's the trait we have. She gets sad before being angry or uncomfortable, so I think that's why she wasn't angry when the, the bandit came and got us. She was just a little bit, like, uncomfortable about it, like, why are you doing this? Like, is there something wrong? Because she's a queen, so she's supposed to take care of all of her subjects, is what she feels. So why would a puny friendly thief be coming to her is kind of is kind of what i'm trying to say what's going on down here what the heck okay we've got to get over to that location asap let's go your majesty because there it looks like this is the graveyard right but what's oh my gosh are they dead 
Excuse me? Why do we have... Why do we have people passed out in our graveyard? Are they dead? A kingdom afflicted? What's going on here? I'm really concerned. Okay. Um, I'm Your Majesty, I don't know if it would be a good idea to question them and figure out what's going on. Who is this? Grave digger. Can we ask him about his health, maybe? Excuse me, sir. Are these women dead? My lady, can I have a word, please? It's about my work here. Oh, gosh. I discuss... Oh, he... Oh, wow. He look, he bowed to us. That's so cool. Let's put on our other outfit, then. Are we standing over a dead woman? Okay, it looks like she's still breathing. Okay, and we're listening to his request. This is so alarming. <laughs> this is so alarming. I mean, seriously. This is amazing and alarming. I keep saying amazing because I've never played this before, so I'm so excited. All right, let's see what's going on. All right. Tell me, what, what's going on? So we need to discuss grave digging with the grave digger. Your Majesty, I think that Builder Wedge is looking up your skirt right now. Well, my lady, I was just wondering if you were considering building a church here in the kingdom. It seems unceremonious to bury these people without a proper rite from a Jacobian or Petrian priest. Thank you, my lady. An interesting proposition. There are many things I, to consider when I choose what to build next. On that note, we need stone. Okay, let's go. We're going to be a little bit disturbed from looking at these dead bodies, I guess, that are just laying on the ground. And, I, I mean, really... If people have to face the reality of epidemics and plagues and death, it makes sense that you would want to do so in kind of a, a, hmm, a more controlled way. Like, it makes sense that we should have some rites, like one of those, those Jacobian or whatever the other one is, priest, come by and maybe read off some rites to the dead so people aren't so worried about when death comes. Oh, what's this? Briar Rose collected stones while venturing deep into the endless network of tunnels. Eventually, she climbed down a sheer drop into a dark abyss. At the bottom, Briar Rose reached an underground lake. She stumbled over a small chest sitting in a puddle. What should she do? Open it? Risk opening the mysterious chest that just happened to be sitting in a puddle in the depths of the cave, or don't open it. Mysterious chests in dark, dangerous places seem to hold bad things lots of the time. We're going to go ahead and open it, because I'm going to say she's always thinking about the treasures that she could get back from the sea and the ocean. Um, especially next to any bodies of water. I have a feeling she might be really into the pirate part of this, especially if she can hunt down some whales, uh, which I normally would never be for, but if they're carnivorous evil whales eating entire ships, I guess that's another thing in this world. But uh, I was also thinking when I saw that note earlier about the epic sword, it would be really interesting if when we made the epic sword, we could say it's treasure that washed back up to the shore that used to be her brother's, the crown prince's epic sword. So that would be fun. Let's open it and see what's inside. Briar Rose opened the lid and found a small bounty of wet coins inside. It pays to be adventurous. 125 simulonians. Nice. That should be enough stones for the builders. Uh, and then let's go ahead and get to know the grave digger. I guess it's good. Oh, that's so cool how they bow to us every time. I should stop by the village shop next as I may need some supplies. Your next destination is the village shops. Awesome. So those were actually the places. Okay, I, I got this. I got this. Okay, village shops, please. Path to village, maybe? Uh, path to village, yeah. Okay, okay. Thank you for teaching me more. Oh, okay. And then path to... Hey, 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 come back here. Path to village. There we go. Okay. Go to location. The path to village. So we're still chit-chatting with the grave digger. <laughs> I can't believe there's just bodies. There's like just an epidemic of bodies in my, in my town. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh well. Come on, Briar Rose. I want you to get away from here before before you risk getting sick. But let, I guess it pays to learn a little bit more about the grave digger, maybe? All right, so let's follow Briar Rose. And that's fine. Camera controls. The village shop sells plenty of things. Um, go to the village shops. Ingredients for cooking, armor, weapons, and many other useful items. Plus, the stock is always changing. As queen, I can use the golden symbols that are added to my funds each day from taxes. Or I can collect and sell goods. All right, so... Oh, gosh. We're, we're going... Bye, your majesty. Oh, wow. Okay, so we're up at the village shops. Wait, I don't remember what I'm supposed to be getting here. <laughs> I don't remember. Am I just supposed to do random shopping? Well, I'm going to grab these seeds because I want to. How many seeds can I get? There's like, uh, I'm going to grab like maybe six. 
because they're cheap. Okay, maybe maybe I'm gonna get 20 because they're cheap for some reason. There we go. Yeah. Oh, there's only six, I think. Ivory paddle. Huh. Interesting. A bottle of ink. Uh, a fiddle. Interesting. An apple. Hmm. That might be good. Craftable energy potion. That's interesting. Well, we have a lot of items. And then we've got... Oh, you can get different swords. You can get wheat for making different recipes. My first, <laughs> my first treasure map in Amateur's guide to treasure hunting welcome brave treasure hunter purchase this map of the treasure hunters alliance the tha will welcome you to its ranks as an initiate now all you must do is follow the map to the buried treasure we have left for you should you succeed you will be a fully titled member well that's kind of expensive <laughs> a pigeon there's like pigeon that we could eat oh my gosh leeches and mushrooms a map to an unknown land that's kind of expensive but a nautical map that's really tempting. I'm going to grab it on a whim because I think I think that she would be a little bit partial to snagging those things. A whaler's whale boat for hunting whales. She would grab both of those things, even though we're spending quite a bit of money. Um, maybe some some spices for cooking. Maybe some eggs, fresh eggs for cooking. So we can grab a few of those. How many spices can we get? Like three more? All right, sweet. And then there's honey. Oh, yeah, let's grab some honey. I think some honey for cooking would be good. Uh, we'll add that to the cart. So a couple honey. My favorite, Ella, oh, the whaling harpoon. She's obsessed with whaling. I would never do that in real life, but I think we should definitely grab a few. Um, and maybe some velo root. I'm not sure. Grass weed. An Amazon parrot. Oh my gosh, eel. I guess she could grab some eel maybe to eat. A sturdy loot, a falcon. Okay, we've got a lot of things we need to learn. A nautical map showing the like area to a new land. Citrus fruit is always really good at keeping away scurvy and things like that. Well water, uh, nightshade, rabbit meat. I don't remember why we were here. So I'm just kind of grabbing random things. There's frogs. Oh my gosh. Okay, there's Turvot. This is awesome. The tree mancer's staff. Huh. I guess we can go ahead and grab that. I want some cheese. I love cheese. Uh, we're going to buy all of this, even though I don't think we need any of it. And I don't remember why we're here. But we're going to go ahead and just, like, snag some of it. Woohoo! Oh, wait. Maybe I was just supposed to do that. Can I sell any of this? Oh, cool. So I could sell the wildflowers if I wanted to and the grass weed. I guess I'll go ahead and sell the grass weed. You just completed an elven exploration for five points towards your watcher's achievement. What? Oh, acquiring the map gives you that? That's so cool. Maybe I should buy the other map. I mean, it looks like it sounds like it'd be a bad idea right now, but I'm going to go ahead uh, and buy the map. Uh, I didn't unlock anything. Okay, that's fine. A, a lady approached Briar Rose, then bowed. I have heard word of your arrival, and in your honor have prepared two gifts to help you build your kingdom. However, I shall only give you one of them. The gift you receive depends on how you answer this question. What virtue would you rather bring to Moss Stone, safety or power? As I build my kingdom, I will value the safety of my people over our, over our offensive strength. My people are my heart. The fierce strength of a kingdom is of the utmost point, importance. A kingdom with no power is no kingdom at all. I would say safety because Briar Rose is still so sad over the loss of her family. The lady nodded. Very good, very good, your highness. You are wise indeed. Then I present you with the gift of resilience, the monarch's armor of fortitude. It's not the best armor, but let it symbolize your goals as you bring a moss stone to a great bustling kingdom. Cool, so we just got a whole bunch of stuff. Oh my gosh. Yeah, check it out. And what's this? Okay, can't sell the stone. All right, so there's that. Someone's calling for help. I should see what's wrong. What? Who's who's calling? Oh, hello, lady. Okay, so she's calling for help. Check safety. Is that what I want to do? Yeah. What's the matter, ma'am? Wow, I've had a very busy day so far. Okay. Queen, queen, please help. Uh-oh, she's thinking evil thoughts. I don't know about this. There's a man in town square. He pushed me in the mud and called me names. This can't happen in Moss Tree. Oh, a bully, eh? Okay, well, we'll go to that location and deal with said bully. And then maybe be able to eat some cheese. Are we going to have to go home to cook? All right. Oh, was that a goat? No, that was probably just somebody else. All right. Let's go see what the heck's going on. What's going on over here? Are they like waving swords around? That must be him. I will not accept bullying in Moss Tree. Sometime in the stocks will teach this bully to think before he acts. 
So now I need to send the bully. Um, let's see. Send the stocks. Oh, look at these adventurers. What are they doing? Scallywag and guildsman and the innkeeper. I won't have this bullying. What? I was just messing around. Ah, it's good to be queen. Everyone has their own way of going through these problems, though. I wonder how a wizard or physician would have handled this bully. All right, uh, huntswoman, an innkeeper. We've got, wow! So you've got, like, various amounts of buckets of water. Go to the judgment zone, okay, to take the bully to the stocks. All right, we're managing this one way or another. I hear my, my townspeople. This is so pretty here. Oh, the town crier is here. Now to shame the bully. That will make him think twice before messing with my people. The town crier is summoning everyone so that we can deal with this bully. You're lucky I don't throw you in the pit. Oh my gosh! Look at my constable! I wouldn't want to mess with him. Oh, and I hear the beast growling. Oh my gosh. You better be grateful about this town bully. I could have thrown you in there. Man, I wouldn't want to mess with that constable. Alright, so now we need to... Oh, I have to throw an egg at him? Oh my gosh. I think Briar Rose does not take well to the peace being disrupted. And we'll have to feed her soon. So hopefully all of that food I snagged. I don't know how to where to put it or what to do with it. Briar Rose, I can't believe you have to throw an egg at him. We just bought those. Oh, I don't think that's going to go well. Ah, oh, it's good to be queen. All right. Oh, quite the adventure. I should return to the stone room with this wooden stone. All right. My lady, thank you for responding to my plea for help. For your kindness, I pledge to be your loyal servant from this day forward. I will await you in the throne room. Okay, so we have like a new... Really? The servant! Inosita the servant. I don't know if somebody named Innocent who has like evil thoughts all the time is somebody I want as my servant, but there you have it. Your sim is hungry. Would you like to learn more about the hunger? Okay, uh, yes, okay. Let me know how I can take care of her hunger. Would, whether it's prepared at the fireplace with a cook pit, roasting over a spit, or baking in the oven, whatever the meal, all sims need to eat. Acquiring ingredients will allow your sim to prepare a wide variety of meals. However, all cooking objects always have something your sim will be able to prepare. All right, see the food preparation and eating lessons. Oh my goodness. Hungry sims are unfocused, so we do want to... Oh, you can die of star... Don't die of starvation? What? No. Neglecting the hunger motive will give the sim a hungry buff. Continuing to neglect the motive will give will get progressive, progressively worse until the sim is starving, and you can die of starvation. Okay, sim can always make a sim can always make a bowl of gruel over the fireplace that has a cook pot by collecting ingredients. Okay, so we can cook. Oh my gosh, there's so much food preparation. <laughs> Your sim is hungry, and pizza delivery is still a couple hundred years away. It's time to cook. Your sim has several options for cooking. A spit, the oven, or a cauldron. Each provide different food preparation options. The spit is good for grilling meats, the oven for baking breads and pies. The cauldron is good for soups and stews. All right, so then you can make food with the recipes that you have. And then if you have not yet village visited the village shops, look at the that's so cool gone fishing oh you can go fishing or go on hunting in the forest you will still have the option for eating gruel flatbread or roasted rat will keep a peasant's belly full oh my gosh we need to eat better than that your sim can make a single serving or they can make a large portion that will feed several sims or the food can be kept and uh kept for future meals on the go by being stored in your inventory be warned that food in your inventory can go bad, and spoiled food can lead to indigestion. Oh my gosh, that would kill you in the old ages. The larder is a special object. From the larder, you can choose to prepare any recipe. Uh, the the other food preparation... Uh, okay, 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 good. So it's basically like a fridge. All right, we got this. Well, let's go back home. We are back at the castle. Oh my gosh, and it's quite busy. Even though it's empty, I'm a little embarrassed. That looks like the min the minstrel there. He looks like the guy from Beauty and the or Beauty and the Beast. Uh, let's see. I, a traveling merchant, bring my lux l luscious and succulent goods to your uh, for your perusal. Please approach me for the many consummate services of my trade. All right. So let's see. Uh, trader. How do I? What if I? How do I? Discussed our tic just, 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 just chat with her. 
Not to risk modest discourse, but the sign of a practice bard is not only the melodious poetry, but his musical of his musical compositions, but also his wonderful physique. Oh my gosh! So we've got quite a bit going on. So now we're listening, and we've got a new servant. And then check to make a choice. First steps. I will woo the trader, the beautiful and elegant merchant. Oh, to make a choice to woo somebody? I guess the merchant. I would rather woo her. She could be more... I've never been able to, res to resist a woman who knows her way around gold. And I presume she won't be able to resist the wildflower I picked earlier. What? I can give her the wildflower? That's so interesting. What's going on here? Give the wildflower to her. This, it might take a little work, but I bet she will love this flower. Increase your relationship with Trader Susanna by chatting her up and socializing positively. When your relationship is high enough, you will be able to click on her and click give flower. Interesting. So I have to like chit chat with her. Hmm. Until, well, I need to get some food. This is this. I'm, I'm quite surprised. Okay. So how do I get some food? Maybe my, my... Okay, where's my servant going? Upstairs? Are you making me food? No, my servant is, is chit-chatting with the builder. Huh. So we'll have to make some food. Because she, she's getting very hungry. Alright, trader, you're going to have to wait. Because we have a hungry monarch. So this is interesting, you guys. So we've had a very, very busy day. Let's come up and see if we can feed our monarch really quickly. Uh, eel soup. That's actually one of the things I was really hoping we would manage to snag. And we can also have, ooh, seafood, seafood suit, stew. I think that's something she would enjoy a lot in the future, too. All right, in you go, your majesty. And that's interesting. So it looks like the next thing we need to do is to woo somebody. So we'll think about that in a little bit. Let's see what the queen thinks. I, I should probably give her something, somewhere to sit down on in here so that she can sit and eat. I spent a lot of money, a lot of money actually, <laughs> on those, those different quest items. But I just feel like her majesty really wants to make sure that she can explore everywhere she needs to in order to... What about this? Oh, that's a very nice dining table. I feel like her majesty feels like she needs to be able to explore everywhere that might might need explored in order to find out what happened to her family. So that's a big drive for her. All right, living chairs, dining chairs. Definitely want to make sure we have at least a few fancy dining chairs. So we'll put down like maybe three. Uh, do I have enough money? I have enough money to add more. I feel like dining is important. It's a very important experience. We'll put down four and give them a little bit of space. And the next time, we might even spend a bit of time trying to decorate in here. Oh, that looks awesome! Trying to decorate the castle. So we'll get the food stuff out of her bedroom. And we'll decorate the throne room a little bit. Because right now, nobody has anywhere to sit or anything to do. Look at how excited the servant is over this table. That's hilarious. Alright, and let's go ahead and get our queen, her majesty, fed. Alright. With your, with your hands, no less, your majesty. All right, well, I won't worry about that. New stuff. She's sitting on something that's comfy, so it's giving her a better focus. Awesome. All right, you guys. Well, I will see you guys next time when we will go down and we will try to woo the traitor, which, in my opinion, happens to be a, uh, a very good idea, since any traitors... What the heck? Where'd they go? Is she up here? No. Okay, we'll have to find the trader and woo her. But any trader is worth wooing, so that hopefully we'll be able to get some special objects. And everybody's just dancing outside right now. The tailor, the servant, the trader, and the, the minstrel are all dancing. That's hilarious. That's pretty hilarious. All right, but let's see if we can get some special deals from her next time. And I'll see you guys then. Now that we're eating our eel soup and talking with the builder who's whittling away at something. Bye, guys.